Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and now styling services. Uh, so in today's video I'm gonna tell you guys about my style story. So it's nothing major but as you guys know I am six feet tall and I want to talk to you guys about some of the struggles that I had growing up as a teen, okay? Now let's backtrack really quick. So this is like story time, right? So my mom used to shop for me and stuff like that. And I think I shot up in probably fourth or fifth grade, okay? And I was the biggest kid in class at the back of the class. <laughs> um, but back then, the things that she used to buy me were just okay, right? So early on, I was very fashionable little girl. I like skirts and dresses and cute little shoes and stuff. Ruffles, <laughs> those are the things that I like. So I wanna say the first thing that I did to kind of get to where I am today is research, okay? When I mean by research, I mean you research all the brands that are out there, brands that you like, take a look in your closet, see the things that you've been buying, okay? So if you've been buying things from, let's say All Saints forever, because you know it fits your body, then by all means stick with All Saints, right? Look at some of the other brands that you often get and kind of really research those brands. See if the clothes actually really do fit you properly or are you just buying them because you're seeing everybody else buy them? So that's the first thing I would say is research. It's very, very important. You don't wanna have a closet full of things that don't fit you, all right? So even though I'm six feet tall, I'm still considered plus size. Um, well, considering the, the average, what they have out here in America. Um, so I'm still considered plus size, even though to the average eye, I am not. But research, 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 guys. So that is a quick little tip for you guys. Do some homework. Write down all the brands that you love. See if you have it in your closet. Study those brands, research those brands. See if they actually carry your size. If you're tall, see if they actually have a section for tall. They may not. You may have been shopping there for the longest and nothing fits you properly. <laughs> so that's the first thing that I did, you know, to get to where I am today. The second thing I did, I would say is knowing my measurements, right? It's very important. There's many videos online. I may do one for you guys. Um, measuring yourself, okay? Knowing every single measurement on your body will help you when you are shopping. Guys, you can easily look at something and know that it's not gonna fit you. You can look at something and know that the arms may not fit you either, right? Same thing for pants, even shoes, right? So knowing your measurements is really, really important. Another thing I would say is often do closet purges. I don't, let me, let me rephrase that and not say often. I would say twice a year, you should be purging your closet um, and if you have never done a purge, you're probably going to end up taking out a lot of junk in your closet. All right. So winter, fall, winter, summer, and spring, right? Those are your, those are your seasons of the year. Those are the times that you should be purging your closet. One thing I learned growing up is shifting out the things for that next season. And the reason why it's good because you, you don't wanna have a closet full of stuff from the summer and it's winter. Because now you have more room to dig through stuff that does not fit, see fit for the winter, right? So purging your closet, your selling, your consignment, well your consignment, your trash, your remix, I use the word remix when I, what I mean by remix is something like a camisole from the summer. You could actually wear it in the winter, maybe under a blazer or something. Okay. So that's another thing I would say is purging your closet. And the last thing I would say is tailoring. Okay. Tailoring is your best friend guys. Always remember if you really like something, never get it too small. You could always go up a size and get it tailored. Okay. Once you get it tailored, it's like they made it for you, okay? Because remember, these clothes are not made for us. It's made for that model that that designer had in mind, okay? So those are just a few tips that I wanted to talk about that kind of got me from A to Z. And now I'm able to create outfits super easy. 
Um, actually, you know what, let me add this in. Wardrobe gaps, okay? A lot of us are missing things in our wardrobes that actually allows our closet to function like it should. So if you are missing any wardrobe gaps, guys, head over to my website, download the free, it's a work wardrobe a list. So this is for my corporate women. Um, even, you know what, non-corporate too. Um, head over to that website, grab your freebie, sign up, and start off with that. Those are the things that you need to have a functioning wardrobe for your work, work side. But then I'm also gonna also have something on there for you guys for your social life, which can actually be used for work also. So head over there and grab that freebie. So that's it today, guys. That's just a few tips that I use to get me to where I am today, knowing how to shop for my body, knowing my measurements, knowing the brand, tailoring those things. Those things are key, key essentials into kind of finding your style. Because if you don't have those, you're gonna be stuck in other places. All right, guys? So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco will see you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY. And head over to my website at CocoStylesNY.com and my blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.